All right, number two video, part two of how to navigate new love within fifth dimensional relationships. Um, I just kind of want to start off too by saying that, you know, both parties or all parties, I should say, don't necessarily have to be on the same page, like intellectually with the codes or like with what's going on. And so what I mean by that is like the past few partners I've been with, you know, the, the women I've been with tend to kind of be within the same realms. They kind of like speak, we speak the same dialect, right? The men that I've been with, I noticed that like even if there's not like a conceptual understanding of metaphysics, even if they haven't really studied the metaphysics or metaphysical sciences, whatever, they don't really dabble. They've not really dabbled too much in the spiritual realms that that has not necessarily created as big of a barrier as I would have assumed. Um, and that also goes to um, back to understanding how like when you are a light being, you guys have probably heard me say this quite a few times if you've been on my channel for a while, but when you're a being here for the betterment of the entire planet, your relationships, the people you meet, whether intimate or just friendship wise or whatever business wise, um, you come into contact with them, not just necessarily for you. Like, of course, you're going to be growing and you're going to be learning things. You're going to learn how to navigate the human experience better and you can help convey that to other people better. But a lot of the time, too, you're coming into these dynamics um, to provide a certain type of nourishment for these people. Um, at least this has been the case for me. I'm just speaking from my own experience, of course. There's going to be, it's going to be different depending on you, your soul signature, what you came here to explore, etc. But for me, I'm just noticing that it's not that I'm not enjoying the dynamics. Like I really have, like do enjoy intimate and romantic dynamics when they do come around because they are the um, more I am, the longer I'm on the planet, the fewer and farther between they tend to be. But um, I just, I do, I can receive the downloads and I, I understand the bigger perspective of what it is I'm to provide for the other person and what it is, uh, the c types of catalysts that I'm to provide for them. And yeah, that's important to me, soul integrity. And just like the more you strengthen your connection with your guides, uh, the more that it just is made so clear. And it also helps navigating things um, be a lot smoother. <laughs> but if you are drawn to this video, if you are listening to this, then chances are that you're like meant to be more of a a teacher and a guide for other people, whether it's on large scale, but just, you know, um, like a, I, I'm thinking of the Hierophant card in tarot. You're just naturally, you kind of, your energy is just kind of commands the ship, um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically for your relationship dynamics. Um, okay. So something else that I wrote down was age differences. Um, I never thought I would, especially when it comes to men, I tend to, be in dynamics, romantic dynamics with men that are significantly older than me just because maturity levels, but someone that, you know, that has something is sparked between us is actually three years younger than me and he's a man and, you know, identifies as a man and is a man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was me trying to be PC. That was weird. I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Um, but yeah, that kind of surprised me just because it's either like women you know, tend to be around the same age or like doesn't really matter. I haven't dated younger women. They've, you know, I've dated women around the same age as me or just a little bit older. But with men, it seems that like if I want the maturity levels to be there or that's just what I've noticed, maturity levels aren't there unless they're significantly older. But part of navigating, um, you know, this new earth is that, you know, beings are coming in like old, old, old souls are coming in, right? Obviously have discernment. Don't be weird. Don't be creepy. But like, uh, for me, I'm 28, and so this guy that, um, you know, I've kind of entered this more intimate romantic dynamic with, he's 25, or he'll be 25 in December. So um, that kind of surprised me too, but that is also what Spirit's communicating is like, hey, well, um, he is definitely an old soul. You knew that from the first time you met him. Yeah. Uh, both directions, right? You, like... This is helping new earth dynamics in general. It's all about breaking past constraints, breaking, breaking past barriers, preconceived notions of like any type of expectation. And so expect age gaps or differences in, in both directions. 
um, because there are a lot of like powerful souls incarnating on the planet and they're waking up sooner and sooner. Again, even if they're not super conscious of like the spiritual realms in general, you can tell when you're around a being that is has done this many times and is just waiting to awaken to those codes and that might also be part of your reason for coming into relationship with them. Um, oh yeah, so I think this just like goes without saying, but there's going to be more acceptance of fluidity and like seeing like people seeing their exes. Um, if you're in a dynamic like me, I have a really beautiful co-parenting. I almost said codependent. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, co-parenting dynamic with uh, my, f my daughter's father. And yeah, we never went to the courts with anything. It was, it's all being like very led by the soul, by soul integrity, what feels right. And so, yeah, like we, I, Greg and I hang out all the time. You know, I see Maya as like my soul sister. Like I really don't have like a possession over her as like being my daughter. Like I like treat her like a friend and I just feel like my vessel was just, you know, her way of coming through. And we, we have a really powerful counterpart, like divine counterpart dynamic, her and I. And so, yeah, um, you know, I'm really seeing how beautiful it is to be with someone that you know, really sees me and understands me and understands that, you know, I'm not hanging out with past lovers and whatever because I'm like trying to be like, because there's a lack of integrity or I'm like thirsty or whatever, but it truly is because like I, I go where I'm called to be um, when it feels right, when it feels aligned. And so when I feel my people going through some type of thing or it just feels aligned and it just feels fun and authentic to, to come together, I'm going to honor that. And so it's uh, really cool to like, because I've been tapping into like, wow, what a beautiful way to exist that would be with um, partners and in relationships and to see that kind of unfolding right now um, is really beautiful. And so we're going to, you know, moving towards new earth, it is going to be integrity. Like I think we're activated in a certain way when we're, when there's no sense of boundaries, but I feel like because on new earth or within new earth the more that you see new earth around you you're just seeing that people are doing the best they can to be guided from a, um, a soul level right they're tuning in to what actually feels right and i see that being really successful honestly as long as yeah as long as we're all tuning in it's gonna be good you know and we're gonna be navigating things together and there's gonna be a lot of growth but it's and it's gonna be so beautiful and it's not gonna feel like you know we're not gonna have these labels where we're identifying one person as this way identifying one person as that way um, because I, if you're like me if you're super like intuitive and super empathic like an intuitive empath then the second a label comes into the dynamic, shit gets weird. It gets so funky and so weird, like almost in instantaneously. When it's like, well, what are we? It's like, you are a divine being and I'm a divine, you know, sovereign being as well. And that's all it is. And we enjoy spending time together in a certain way, like, like anyone else. And I said this in my last video too, but it's like, in my friendships, I'm not overthinking what it is they're saying to me and in my friendships I'm I sure as hell don't care if they have different viewpoints as me and we honor each other and it's fine and I don't, don't take it personally but it's been really funny to notice how it's been almost easy to go there just because I've entered a more romantic kind of dynamic with someone it's easier to like overthink things or like care more if we're not on the same page with beliefs but it's but I would I wouldn't care if like you were just my friend right and so that also goes, um, just goes to show just like conditioning, culture, cultural conditioning and how that really does um, have deep roots in the subconscious. Um, but, you know, we're all releasing ourselves and in so doing, we're helping release the planet and release other people. So, yeah, I'm really grateful for this, for this unfolding and I'm here for it. I am here for every little piece of it, <laughs> uh, this whole journey, this whole beautiful um, unfolding. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have for today. I hope this finds you well. As always, if anything popped up uh, and you want to share with the rest of the community, go ahead and leave me a comment. Give me a like if it takes like two seconds. And if you resonated, give your girl a like because it helps circulate the good word around. All right, friends, we'll talk soon. Much love.